Hello, welcome to Jibrin Angle on Weleke TV. My name is Jibrin, and this is my angle. Once again, we have uh, Barista Austin Manta to discuss some salient issues that, have, that borders Nigeria as a country. Um, Barista Manta, thank you so very much for joining us once again this morning. Thank you very much. Yeah, we shall be. We shall, we have several things to discuss. We will talk about, uh, but let's start with the do state. Um, last week, uh, Saturday, uh, we had an election in a do state. Um, so many things came up. Um, several news and stories came up. I I I don't know what. Uh, um, we are used to it though, but what's your opinion about a do state uh, election? Um, we're told the uh, INEC declared uh, the APC candidate as the winner of the election. Um, do you, I don't know if you follow the election, um, and uh, what you feel about the result, or what you think uh, rather about the result. Thank you very much. Um, uh, you and me on this platform, we have expressed our views. We don't have faith in the electoral process in the elections in Nigeria. But for those who still hold on to a little faith in the electoral process, a little faith in the democratic process, I don't have, I have zero faith in it. So I'm not disappointed because I was not expecting anything tangible to come up from that election. But for those who still talk about Nigerian democracy, who still talk about uh, the electoral process in Nigeria, it should be very alarming to them. Nothing that happened in a uh, state can pass for an election, a properly so-called election in a democratic setup. In the first place, the president and his party, the APC, they wanted that election at all costs because it's the first election to be held after the protest, after the devastating uh, damage to the Nigerian uh, uh, basic living standards. So they wanted to demonstrate, and you can see immediately the result were announced. The president came up to say, well, you see, Nigerian people accept and agree with our economic policies. That is why they elected our party in uh, Edo State. That is exactly the message they wanted to project. And they went all out to get it. Every kind of manipulation was done. Votes were bought at 10,000 10, uh, per vote. Those who are interested in the stability of Nigeria, the governance, the politics, the electoral process, it foreshadows what will happen in 2027. It is just a takeaway. 2027 is just a takeaway. And this is the kind of thing that you will see happening in that time. And you have made mention on this uh, platform. We have talked about the fact that when Tinubu was not in power, he was able to take the power. What of now that he is in power? What will he not do? If he want it, he will take it. And we have seen manifestation of that in what was what passed off as a do state uh, gubernatorial election. But uh, he said, Well, if you are not satisfied, he said the president said if you are not satisfied, go to court. Again, we have mentioned on this platform that is useless. They have already stimulated the court in such a way that you have no possibility of ever of obtaining such an election in the in the so they feel confident in challenging people go to court if you are not satisfied the judiciary is there but the judiciary itself is not ready to give justice to Nigerians so it's a hopeless situation when you accept to participate in that process and you are not declared the winner, just go home and keep quiet. It's as simple as that. 
Yeah, um, it's so it's so unfortunate. Just like you noted earlier, um, it is no surprise to us, um, because um, like you said, also we lost faith in the electoral process. I have lost faith in the electoral process long before now. Uh, it, the only thing is that um, uh, twenty twenty three, I thought based on the electoral uh, uh, INEX uh, reform, I thought that uh, they would adhere to their promises to their word. Uh, so there was a kind of uh, we had a kind of glimpse of um, hope uh, in, during before the twenty twenty three election. So and uh, unfortunately after the after the election. Um, that hope was dashed. Uh, was not just dashed; was uh, br uh, b brutally uh, destroyed or mad or damaged. Um, so, uh, is, uh, as ha therefore, we have completely lost faith in the electoral process. I don't mean for one. I don't even believe. I don't longer believe in the, what to this sham called democracy in Nigeria. I think you and I are on the same page with this because uh, you you have always said that. Uh, we don't, we're not practicing democracy. Um, my, my own case, whether we practice democracy or not, that, that system of governance, in my own opinion, is just not, it, it won't work. It has not worked. It won't work in our climb. Um, that the environment is not suited. It's not suitable for, uh, for us as, as, as people, as a people. Um, so that is just it. Though it's not, uh, I don't know why people are crying foul now. People are crying foul. What did they expect? What did Nigerians expect? I had uh, what's his name, um, Sam Amadi. I uh, was holding. I think well, that's one of the videos I was supposed to. We we're supposed to play here, but uh, since we have an issue, um, with uh, the system, um, we just can't do that. As Sam Amadi was addressing after the election or whatever it was, that it was I think he had a press conference. He has been very vocal anyway. Um, I think I, I love the guy. He has been very vocal and uh, very, very um, aggressive at that. So, and uh, he was actually talking, he, he, he strongly criticized the, of course, um, expected, expected, uh, expectedly, Criticized uh, Edo state uh, uh, the Edo uh, election. However, he went further to uh, request for the uh, reform uh, of the INEC or whatever. And I, I look, I well, I he was sincere about it. I know that he uh, he's trying his best. But the truth is, um, his recommendations or his suggestions or advice are just things that are not that the government nobody will listen to. What and besides, uh, like I always say. When people say we should, that the Nigerian constitution needs um, a reform, need needs an overhaul or an amendment, or an amendment or whatever, and I always say, look, Nigerian constitution at its, at its as it stands today does not need anything. What we need, the reformation, the the amendment that we need is embedded in we humans. This is the human beings that actually need reform. We the personalities are that that are in, that are. Uh, responsible to the implementation of the of the of, uh, of of the of the constitution are those that actually need an orient a, a different orientation, um, a transformation uh, that needs repentance, that needs to change, that needs to start doing the right thing. Otherwise, the documents we have does not have any as far as I'm concerned. If people want to do the right thing, what we have, our legal system, our law laws are good enough to take us to where we where we dream, where we desire to be, and that's just it. So the thing, boys, that when uh, Samamadi was trying to address this issue of, uh, was talking about criticizing the government and asking or uh, requesting or advising or suggesting for uh, that, for um, ele the ele INEC reform, that uh, INEC should be overhauled or whatever. And I said, I said, look, um, I, 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 told, I, told, I told myself, what is this man talking about? We all know what the problem is. The problem is is not is the system, not the the rules. The rules are there; they are all embedded. Like this INEC of a thing, we all know that as, as the, that was what gave us hope in 2023 during the 2023 election. The 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 law, the INEC law, as it stands, as it stands today, it's a, it could it had say a very very perfect law that could have given us a perfect a perfect election. But what happened? The 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 human beings. The devils and the demons who are in charge, who are that that whose head is 
is is is is the devil himself, which is a uh, uh, Mahmoud Yakubu, uh, who are the ones managing this INEC. They they circumvented the system, and that is what they are doing. They keep circumventing the system, and that is exactly what they did. They applied the same modus operandi uh, at the uh, Edo State uh, election, uh, the last uh, 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 the, uh, the la la last Saturday. Uh, sort of. So, what, overhauling this, there is nothing. The problem is, it is we human beings. Our leaders are the ones who need to change. They need a, di a different orientation, a different mindset. A sort of so that is just that is just the reality. Anyone people profile, I don't even know. People are profiling so many things. Uh, do this or do that or do this or do that. Government of the day will not. They will not do that. And besides, we don't. What we have in our books, they are good enough. They are perfect enough to take us to where we where we ought to be. The problem is that people are not obeying the laws. People are not following the rules. They are not adhering to the rules and, of the game. And they are aided. They are aided by the Supreme Court that should put his hand down, his leg down. That, that is the point. They stamp his foot down and say, look, if you are set up your own rules that this is how you conduct election, you should follow the rules. How that can the, the Supreme Court tell us that INEC, having set up the rules, are free? to discard the rules and do what they want. What kind of uh, justice is that? Honestly, that is just... I, I, I had... Uh, what's his name? Akpata, uh, the Labour Party. Is it uh, the Labour Party candidate? He was talking about going to court or whatever, and he's a lawyer or whatever. I think he was a bad chairman. Um, I, I was... I, I, I was... I, is it bad chairman? Former bad president, right? Yes. Um, former president of the NBA. NBA, yes, bar president, Nigeria Bar Association. Um, so I, 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 I wondered. I, I just wondered. I asked myself. Did what the GDP candidate say he is going to court? Is, is it not that Yeah, I've got, I've got that room. I've got that room. Yes. What happened in 2023? Yeah, I, I don't. When I had, not in Nigeria when these uh, LA cases were being decided. That is the point. Honestly, I, I when I had both of the had that of the PDP and that of the Labour Party, they, they, they are going to court. Over. And I asked myself, what the hell are these people talking about? Were they not were they not born at the last by uh, at the last 2023 election? Were they were they still in their mother's womb? Were they not around? What happened? Didn't they know? Didn't they see or hear what happened? Didn't they experience what happened? What the hell are they? You're going to court to do what? What are you going to call? One of the things where we, we, that is on the table for us to discuss is about the Supreme Court that this man has the 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 the, 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 um, uh, the current CJN uh, that has been this her position has been has been uh, made uh, permanent. A sort of um, uh, that's a word I'm actually seeking for. Um, what is this uh, employment? Confirmed. 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 Chief Justice of Nigeria. Correct. Sure, sure. So our proposition has been confirmed. Then we'll come to that because she's one of our topics as well. Now, I, I, the, the, I don't know when I heard them talking about going to court, going to what, which court or what court? Is it the one that that have, have been mesmerized or bastardized or bacchanized? The one that does not, if that calls white, that, that, that actually interprets what is clearly white. Into black. I, I, I don't get it. The one that has the is it the, the, the same courts that have turned turned the entire legal system upside down? Where are they going to? That is nonsense. That is I, 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 they are, that is just waste of money, waste of energy, waste of time, waste of other resources. So I, I don't understand what uh, look well, Nigerians when, when um, people like Amadi are talking, I think it's uh, intellectual laziness, because what he's saying, we have passed that stage of say reform, correct uh, reform INEC. We have passed those stage. The whole country, almost ninety percent of Nigerians had no confidence in INEC before the. 2023 election. election. Yeah, the amendment of the electoral act and the actions and press statements of INEC is what gave people confidence, what revived people's confidence. 
Yeah. And don't forget, the electorate has amended has been amended for over five times. Over five times. The last one, 2020, that INEC now propagated that they came out and continued to assure that, oh, this time around, you will see, as they vote, you are seeing the result. As they vote, you are seeing the result live, in real time. There's no room for manipulation. They deceived us. There's no room where the result will be taken from a police station to a world level, where before you reach the world level, it is changed. As you are voting, you are seeing it live. People became confident that probably this time around, we have got it right. That is why you saw a lot of uh, positive out, out, outcome. I mean, um, uh, turn, up, uh, turn up of the election. People came up. A yeah. lot of people came up, particularly during the presidential election. That Look, this time my vote is going to count. As I vote, I will see the result online. But what happened? After that 2023 election, it's going to be very difficult. I don't know even how that confidence of the people can be restored in the electoral poll. It's almost impossible because whatever you bring now, people will remember that you brought this thing, you 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 said it, you published, you went around the country and we believed and look at what happened. So where people like Amadi are, are talking and making press, it's like intellectual laziness. Look at what happened. How can you come today and be calling for reform? What reforms are you going to do in INEC? Honestly. That we restore confidence of now. It's not the uh, the laws. It's not the electorate. It's not the rules. INEC made rules pursuant to the electorate that this is how we will conduct elections. And they did not. They flouted their own rules. And the Supreme Court said, look, INEC can do as it please. They can do whatever they want. They can say, we will upload the result on INEC, our authentic result on INEC, and then jettison that and, and go and announce the result at the collection center. And that result announced at the collection center will be the correct result. So where do we go from there? What reforms are you, see, you going you to see, make? You see, this is, my, this is why I find... The, 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 this. We talked about the PISA call, was it last week or so? Where that uh, General Abdul Salami um, cheers and uh, Matthew Kuka, those people are a bunch of corrupt people, for God's sake. They are, as far as I'm concerned, now because the same people they went together with the same INEC chairman or, that orchestrated the, the worst evil, that orchestrated the worst evil on Nigerians in 2023 election. The same INEC chairman, they, the same they took into a do state to call to. To what? To sign this crazy piece or whatever. So what is the essence of that? When they knew quite all right. In fact, when I saw the INEC chairman together with them on, 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 sc on the screen, I, I, I just, I said, why is this man actually walking freely on our streets? That man is supposed to be lynched. Lynched. Honestly, he, he is the problem. He is the problem. He is the uh, immediate. Let me use that word. Nigerian problem is so large and broad, so comprehensive. The dynamics, the dynamics are so, so uh, sometimes incomprehensible. But our problem, the immediate cause of our problem right now is the INEC chairman. Because if he had done the right thing during the 2023 election, probably we could have had a, a, at least a light at the end of the tunnel with the government that because could, Trubu couldn't have been the president. Definitely everybody knows that. Obi Peter Obi could have been, who was supposed to be the president. He won that election. No, no, there's no, there's no two ways about that. Probably we could have been on, on the, on, on the right precipice. But here we are. The same INEC chairman now they are warming him up to be to remain in power until probably after 2020, 2027 election because they want to use him to perpetrate the same evil that he perpet he, he he perpetrated in 2023. Why would someone like like uh, uh, Yakubu, the chairman, I mean, um, uh, uh, INEC chairman, be walking freely on the streets? For God's sake, this is unbelievable. That man is supposed to be somewhere other than the uh, the INEC, be remaining as the INEC chairman. 
It is so sad. It is so sad. And shame, shame on uh, uh, Abdul Salami, who is who is using his position to. I I, I don't get it. I, I've always I've always faulted this issue of this is peace accord because he is it is it it, it is hypocritical. It is it is it is just pretentious. A sort of um that is just that's what I, the way I see that crazy piece and there's someone like uh, Matthew Kuka, Matthew Kuka right from time every government of the day they always find a way he will first start with criticizing here and there and the next thing you be chickens out uh, probably inducement of course this, these are things that goes beyond under the under, be, uh, below the radar, radar they are all bunch of corrupt people who project themselves as peacemakers yeah that is so so unbelievable. It's so sad. It's so sad that we had we had we 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 uh, now they, it happened. The same Abdul Salam and uh, Matthew Kuka. They are not. They no. They, are, they, are they saying anything? Have you? I don't know if have you had anything from them concerning the Edo politics. No. Uh, the election. Uh, they have not said anything. They've not said anything. As far as I'm and concerned, I've not had anything from them. them. You cannot hear them come up to say, "Oh, the uh, election." That is my po that is my point. The threshold of a, uh, ah. a democratic electoral process. Well, that's, that's my point. Now you are the chairman of a, com a peace committee, and after the election, you cannot come out to criticize to at least give your criticism of the system, the wrongs done to the system. I believe it's just about one or two observer groups like Yagi Africa that came out to say, look, the, the result as uploaded by ANEC is different from the ones announced by ANEC and collection centers, that the results were tampered with and the, the process was not uh, fair. It's so sad. It's so you sad. You could not hear it from people like them. Honest, that's the point. Those, oh, those guys are a bunch of old fools. Sorry, pardon my word if you're watching the whatever. Um, I, I'm just I'm just enraged. Enraged because we have all it takes to make the right to to act the, the right way, take the right decisions, make the right, take the right steps. For God's sake, yet we are not doing it just because of some a, a less than one percent rapacious leaders who are. Who have made themselves evil, uh, 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 epitome of evil. It's so sad, so sad. Honest, 